forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Sinister Eye Alpha 18. We are about to face the day 56 horde and it is 25 to 10. So the horde is almost going to start. As you guys can see I have my bicycle on me, two junk turrets. Um, each of them have a rad remover on. And then over here we have clip extenders, blessed metal, anti-radiation, both guns. So both of them can hold 60 ammo. After the horde I really want to see if we can get ourselves the coil gun ammo because apparently the coil gun is much more powerful than these, uh, these guns and then we need to work towards laser guns because that's going to help with our demons as you guys can see i made over here reinforced concrete that's our there's six um batch or rather engines in each it's turned on and it's set to nine to four uh, half past four just so we know it is defended uh, also i needed a screenshot so it had to go on at nine and then as you guys can see over here i managed to get pretty far with the steel I would have really loved to get this whole area over here steel, but unfortunately that did not work out. And then also underneath, I don't think you can see it from here, let's just go downstairs quickly. I put five chests over there, hopefully they don't get destroyed. Those chests are going to be for our loot as soon as the horde starts. Or rather as soon as it ends, then we don't have to make our own chests again. As you guys can see, I'm 100 le level 170 and uh, the game stage is about 562. Now to uh, get enough iron stuff for more steel for after the horde, I actually went and I broke down the rocket over there. Found, I think, two ball safes, one gun safe, and munitions chest in the, uh, the rocket itself. So there was definitely stuff we were missing before. Okay, the horde is about to start. Let's just quickly run over here. So now the zombies should more or less know where to run to. We're going to place our turrets, I think, right about here. This is going to help a little with the zombies, not too much. Uh, let's just hope the cops don't destroy them too much as well. Okay, now I am ready for this horde. Just repair this gun. Guys... I'm actually really scared for the sword since our game stage is so high and screamers are starting to spawn demons as well. I actually got a screamer from breaking down that rocket with my auger and the uh, amount of demons just one of them spawned is insane. Okay, so I need to technically kill them before my turrets do. My turrets are only there for the birds. But my turrets are going to shoot all the leaves so I need to watch out for that. It's going to come from both sides and we watch out for those as well. We should probably kill those ourselves. See this way, the nice way of doing it, the uh, nice thing of doing it this way is now we can do this. They don't vomit at us yet and we can start throwing our um, grenades over here. I do have quite a few grenades with me. I just hope this doesn't happen too often during the war. Damn spider zombies. I just wish I could make anti-radiation um, grenades. I think that would be quite awesome. Being able to stop them with a grenade instead of just damaging a lot of it. I'm actually considering moving my turrets a little bit back. Oh, there's screamers in this water as well. No. I really hate screamers. Where's that one? She's over here somewhere. I think she's... Yeah, there she is. She's mixed into them. I need to make sure we take all the screamers out so they don't spawn even more zombies and cause even more trouble. Although I can't see her properly right now. I just need to make sure I kill all the cops and also all the spiders that jump up here with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think I got that screamer. At least this way, guys, we can now see the zombies nice up close and personal and we don't have to charge the grenades so long. So it's easier for us to throw grenades. Ooh, hello. Only problem is now I'm destroying my floors getting to these zombies that jump up to me. No, 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 don't destroy my blade traps. Guys, I already have an idea of what I want to do for the next horde. So I can't waste to chase the new defense out. I think it's going to work even better than this defense. The nice thing of doing this way is the, uh, the demolition zombies. We'll be able to shoot them in the back without having them explode on us. Except if another zombie hits them from in front. On. These guys are really struggling to jump up there. Let's just do this for the normal zombies. Only problem of killing the normal zombies so fast is the fact that more and more radiated and demons and stuff start spawning. Oh crap. No! No, 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 no! That one just destroyed my blade traps. Okay, so that is a big problem because the defenses the at the back are now getting out. Also, if we see bears and stuff, guys, we need to kill them. Those are going to be our biggest threat during this horde. Especially the wolves. They can more or less run this distance. So I'm really worried about that. Let's just quickly repair this. Unfortunately, none of these have scopes on now, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see. Why are you just standing there, lady? Let's kill all the vomiters. 
I wonder if we're gonna get any demons this uh, this time around. We are getting night stalkers as per usual. Hello. Oh crap! Now I need to reload. Get ready for these bears and stuff. And a pig over there. Hello. Please don't miss, John. Please don't miss. Okay, let's go for nine uh, nine more rounds a little bit. I don't want to use up all my AK ammo right now. Actually, I should probably stand back a little bit so the spiders jump past. Instead of jumping in my face, like so. Because if they jump in my face, they might just jump inside behind me. Okay, there are vultures outside, but I think my turrets are already empty. Unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, guys, we need... Ooh, that almost looked like you went inside. We need to get ourselves the awesome sauce and XP multiplier stuff and all of that. I needed to actually drink that, the uh, grandpa's awesome sauce, before selling all those gems I got at the pyramid the other day. Oh crap. How's this guy on the left? I don't get how easy. Is he standing on top of the spikes or something? Okay, this might have just been a little bit too short. I just hope I don't die. I'll probably heal myself every now and then as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so I need to kill the zombie to the left. I don't know how it got there. Where is it stuck to? Oh wow. Hello. Okay, so I need to get inside and kill all these spiders. Guys, these spiders are going to be a real pain in the butt. I really need to do something about them before the horde. I waited too long and now I might just be screwed. Oh, that's how they're doing it. The spiders are jumping up the wall to the side. Okay, now... This is a problem. The fact that those guys are getting over is a huge problem. At least I do have grenades and stuff which I really should be using. Oh crap, 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 crap. I love it when they pause like that for no reason. It's like they're first seeing where they should go. They're uncertain. Okay, so I should have had a chest up here as well. It seems because I'm getting a ton of loot. I just hope they don't go off my walls. So far, this defense seems to be working other than the few zombies getting over. But wolves and stuff will definitely be able to get over. No, 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 no. Why am I getting errors? Oh, wow. This zombie almost pushed me off just now. That is really not going to work for me. You know what? Grenade time. Grenade time. Throw it. And the zombie behind me. I need to make sure I keep healing myself. So this defense does have a few flaws, as you guys can see. Massive being that zombies can get inside with me. But at the moment, I'm more or less worried about the demolition zombies. Because they already destroyed the defenses to the left. Now it seems they're going for the right as well. Come on. I just hope this defense doesn't fail. Oh wow. I should actually have put my turrets inside of here with me. So it can protect me. Damn it. Every time every time I try and go outside to face the cops, uh, the streamers get inside. Oh crap, he's gonna explode. Oh wow, that soldier just got really far before falling down. Okay, so way more cops this time. Let's hope I survive this. We do have more rounds per gun now, so I should be able to survive it. But at the moment, I'm seriously doubting this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But technically, except for the... Um, come on, come on, come on. The spider zombies have been doing really well. Oh, wow. Uh, one of those are the mutated ones or just normal ones. They have to be mutated to get that far. Come on. Okay, let's just stand a little bit to this way. Do this. I just need to chuck a few over there to do a little more damage. And also, I should probably use my rocket as well. They are close enough so that the rocket doesn't fail too much. I just hope a spider doesn't jump in front of me while I'm shooting with this rocket. Oh wow, they already took out the steel over there. I just need to aim better as well. Aiming is a little bit off. Hello, vulture. No, no, no. Here you go. Stay with me. Okay, so I should probably just do this. That was a cop exploding at least. Okay, so I thinned the horde a little bit with those frags. Hopefully that keeps for now. That holds. Because they do seem to be doing a ton of damage to my stairs. Even more than I thought they would. Not as much as I thought, but more than I thought. I know that's a little bit... That doesn't make quite sense there, but... 
Okay, so just watch, watch out for those. Is he dead? No, he's not. Is he? Oh, that was a tough lady that I saw. Nice. So I killed him already. Too many of these guys are vomiting on me. Guys, I uh, saw another guy's YouTube channel and it gave me an idea for the next offense. So as soon as I make that defense and I tweak it a little bit to my design, I'm also going to give him credit for the idea. I can't wait to test it out. Okay, so I just need to make sure these guns actually reload. Oh crap, my staircase. No! Okay, uh, they don't seem to be doing so much damage to the stairs. I'm actually really happy. I shouldn't be saying that because more and more exploding over here and the more explode the more of a hole they can make. But for now it's a good thing. Reload, reload, reload. I need to make sure I'm reloaded every time. See, that's a big problem with making two, uh, two staircases. I have to focus not just there, but here as well. At least it doesn't seem like too many uh, tough zombies on this side. But that's bothering me now. The fact that they already made a pit on this side. That pit can now make the zombies start to dig over there. I need a gun with way more ammo. Whoa, almost hit his chest. Turn around, boy. Turn around. Yes, thank you. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally hit him on the uh, chest. Well, on the other hand, that's a nice way to clear them out. Just hit them on the chest. But on, at the same time, you want to take the zombies out yourself. You don't want to rely on the demolishers. Especially since they also damage your base like crazy. I see another cop exploded over there. Damn it. Are they doing way more damage to this? hide hole that I thought they would. I just hope this lasts for the rest of the horde. Come on, come on, come on. Did I kill him now? I hope he's dead. He doesn't know, I don't know if he's dead or not. What's that? Just a normal tough guy on this thing. That almost looks like a demolisher without the bomb. Okay, reload. I hate the fact that these radiator ones shoot six streams of... Oh, damn it. Another hole. They shoot six streams of bomber, not just the uh, one or two. Reload, reload, reload. If they explode, they need to explode on the rebar. I can't have them exploding on the sand outside. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Nice, I killed him before he exploded. Technically, I could stand further back. They won't see me. Or well, they might vomit from the back over here. They won't see me from over there and they'll start to go more for the stairs instead of trying to vomit at me. It's only, I'm getting hit by so much vomit because I'm zooming in so much. Oh wow, my AK is out. Let's just repair that quickly. Actually use our rocket again. Okay, and AR time a little bit. Don't want these cops exploding on me. It seems they were very, very close to exploding. Wait, did I not get them? I could have sworn I got them, but they still seem to have exploded. Thank you. Ooh, behemoth. Our first ward behemoth. Hello, lady. Oh wow, she's flying. I don't want to kill her in the air because just now the loot that she spawns also falls. It's nice when they explode like that because um, it moves them all away from the spot. Look at the damage they're doing to the staircase. They're doing way too much so that one or two explosions every now and then actually helps. Not a lot but it does help. Okay so can I kill that guy over there? Come on. No 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 I don't want to shoot your chest. I just have to make sure that I clear a clip every time I fire. Because this guy was almost dead, I just need to keep, keep firing on the same spot. And I hope I hit him and not the zombies around him. And also, I hope I don't accidentally hit his chest and then him. Okay, so let's just quickly eat, drink some antibiotics. Guys, this defense is actually holding up quite nicely. I'm actually really proud of myself. I, I, I'm actually glad it's holding up this nicely. I was really concerned because I didn't actually really get time to perfect it. I really wanted to make this whole place reinforced steel. I think if the stairs were reinforced steel, um, they wouldn't have taken so much damage already. It's only because they're reinforced, uh, just normal steel, not reinforced steel, that they're taking so much damage. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a grenade over there. Fly! <laughs> One again. Fly! Nice. When they're flying like that, it's a nice time to uh, shoot the vomiting ones. I just come over here. Hello. I just hope this little bit of an overhang over here don't, doesn't get destroyed. Oh crap. Uh, behemoths are tall enough to get over here, especially the mutated ones. Mutated zombies. So if a mutated zombie can go over, the behemoth can definitely. I want to destroy that cop, thank you. 
even if the behemoths or the mutated ones get through, at least um, they can't get in over here. The reason they can't get in is because it's too high. Are they trying to climb underneath me? I'm just waiting for that um, demolition zombie to turn his back. He keeps looking back every time he falls and then it's so easy to accidentally hit his switch. Oh, almost hit his switch. That was so close. And I need to kill these explosive zombies over here. Uh, way too many of them for my liking. Nice demolition down. Okay, so time for one more rocket. At least this is so close, I don't really have to zoom. It does help to zoom, but I don't need to. Okay, so I probably should repair these guns. Let's go with the AK for now. I just thought I heard talking. Was that my imagination or was that just happening? Let me just kill those cops before I focus on the one close to me. Damn, this overhang is really going. Uh, I think I know what's going on. Hello, hello. I can't have this guy exploding over here, so let's just reload. And make sure I can kill him with one clip. Okay, so I killed... No, oh, I thought I killed both of them. Come on. Nice. If you destroy them completely, the bombs don't go off, which really, really, really helps. I just hope none of the zombies have gotten in somehow. As in a sucker of a zombie, all of a sudden comes up ladder behind me. Reload, reload, reload. And time for my rocket launcher right here. I just need to watch out. If I don't zoom in, I, may, I might just hit the floor right in front of me. Especially since it is getting a little bit laggy, stuttery right now. It's going to really, really suck having to run around outside. Okay, so while we're waiting, let's just quickly... Come on, please, please, please. Use a first aid kit. And also, let's just check the time. It is now... Come on. 136. See, these hordes last way longer now. Just because we have a day set to off. Come on, they're starting to destroy the stairs. If the stairs go, that means they're going to start coming for this middle section of here. We can't allow that. Especially since the demolition zombies have already taken out the one side. Come on, come on, come on, reload, reload, reload. I love the fact that this gun reloads when you stop shooting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then it auto zooms in again, that's what I love. I unzoomed to show you guys that it zooms in, that was a mistake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I should be using my rockets and my grenades more, especially when they're grouped up like that. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so one more grenade, right there, chuck, and then over here there's a few zombies, hello. Oh crap, I thought it was reloaded already. I need to watch out for stuff like, oh, they are doing damage on this side. Damn, they really made a hole over there. I need to make sure that I actually kill the zombies. I can't allow them to, uh, to take damage and then explode these cops. So if they completely disappear from me shooting, that's a that's bullets worth wasting. Uh, there's a ton of these demolition zombies over here. So if they explode, that's gonna put a really big problem on my defense right here. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Too many of these demolition zombies are exploding. I I, I think they already took out a few of my spikes over here easily. Reload, 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 reload. I should actually shoot through the bars a little bit as well to defend myself. It's not always as easy to do because you can't see the health bar on these zombies. If you stand in the open, at least you can see the health bars. I wonder how much damage the laser guns will do. So I thought I took a hit from the side or from the back. That would mean really bad things for me. That would mean zombies broke through the walls of here and are coming for me. The fact that some of them are running over really bothers me. I think if I stand right in front of the staircase of here, that's what causes them to go. Why are the demolition zombies? Are they demolition zombies or are they just... Crap, they're destroying my entrance over there. So my defense needs to be reinforced steel and I needed more electric traps and stuff. I think I have too few electric traps and that's what's causing so much damage. They're living too long. 
Damn, 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 damn. Please don't fail. They're all starting to make holes underneath. It just is this. That's what's happening. They're blowing up on the spikes over here underneath me. So I need to put turrets or something in the walls to uh, keep them away from the blade. I thought the um, spikes over here will be a blessing, but it's a curse. It's because of the spikes that the crops are exploding underneath me. Most of them at least. Reload, reload, reload. The stairs are taking way too much damage in my opinion at the moment. Oh crap, I can't see him so he's gonna explode in the back. I need to uh, fight a little without zooming in so I can see what I'm shooting at. Like this is too focused. So I can't really tell the environment around me. Is something vomiting from the right or not? Okay, so more and more cops are exploding underneath me. That's really actually bothering me guys because that's affecting the structural integrity right now. The fact that they're vomiting underneath me like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Crap. Yes, I killed him. Oh, that was close. Please tell me I killed him. There was a little bit of a health bar left when I just looked away. Did he explode or... I really can't tell. I can't see anything underneath me, which is a really, really bad thing. I might just have to put underneath over here, all the way to the ground. Just so I know nothing can stand underneath me. Oh, no, 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 no. They're taking out my blade traps one by one. Okay, so. Also, guys, destroy the new guy. Explain to me why I had so many blade traps left. Um, this is a 3x3 square, but the middle is empty. And because the middle is empty, that's one less blade trap to use. Okay, so now they're going for the defenses over here. Why? Because it seems the staircases are too damaged. Okay, so why? No, but those can get up. Okay, so I need to get away from here now. They just stand over here. See if they try and come to me over here. That is really, really bad. Really bad. They really took out my blade traps over there, which is really, 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 really bad. Unfortunately, they're also destroying all my spikes right now. So it's just because the stairs failed. I think... Oh, no, 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 no. They're starting to dig in there. I think because these stairs failed, um, that's the big issue right now. Come on, come on, come on. Those ones died. They destroyed all my blade traps, guys. All my blade traps. All 18. So I might just take the blade traps away and make the whole wall reinforced steel. But why can't they get up over here is what my question. This is... Oh, there's a hole over here. Hello. Are there no new zombies spawning? Please tell me that's the case. I survived the horde, but barely. So just because... Remember, guys, this is test one. We threw this base together. Where is the zombie? There's a zombie somewhere crawling, I think. We just threw this base together last moment, so it is going to take a few tweaking, uh, a tweak or two to last. Wait, what? Are you stuck there? Was he sleeping? Like a sleeper zombie. Okay, guys, it seems that's it for the horde. Okay, the floor just needs to be reinforced steel, and then I'm actually considering putting stairs in here, not just the blocks. Because if they destroy the blocks, then the zombies all of a sudden can't get up. But if they first have to destroy the staircase, that's more of a defense. Okay, so let's see what damage they did over here. Uh, let's first go drop the ammo and stuff from this hall that we used, that we don't need on us. And then we'll pick up a few of the stuff over here. But I can't believe they destroyed all my blade traps. But it's because of all those spikes. The spikes do just enough damage to the cops to not kill them. And then they explode on the spikes, destroying everything else in the path. So that really, really sucks. Okay, so we're going to put away these. We're just going to keep with us the 7.62 rounds. So everything else needs to go in there. I just hope nothing more shows up while I'm in here because then I'm going to start digging as well. Okay, uh, that goes in there. Let me just quickly make some inventory space, guys. I just want to drop what we don't need. Okay, so I think it's a good thing that the horde stopped. Now remember, the only reason the horde didn't stop beforehand is because the days are too short. Now the days are nice and long, 
so the war doesn't need to last the whole night. But the higher our game stage gets, the longer it's going to uh, last. So the zombies will still keep spawning in the future. So we need to get this whole place reinforced steel before then. Otherwise, this is not going to work. But it's only because so many zombies exploded that we lost the blade traps and all of that. But the new defense, uh, I'm actually, I want to make this one work first. And then I'll... Come on. Uh, I want to ma make this defense work first before I do the new defense. And the new defense will work even better than this one. Like I said, I'm going to use another guy's idea. I'm going to uh, credit him. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to credit him. And then, yeah, I'm just going to use that idea. And it's going to work properly. Because with him, he used it in vanilla. And it works wonders. But in Darkness Falls, it's a little bit tougher, so I want to make sure it really, really lasts and holds. Okay, so these are safe. Nice. That's all I could hope for. Let's just drop all of that in, but keep the 762 rounds. Yes. Over here, we drop everything in, but we need to take back the 762 rounds. The nice thing about the horde ending a little bit early is the fact that now we can actually loot everything. Uh, without the warrior, anything's going to despawn. Everything's going to despawn. Remember, usually the horde lasts so long. That by the time you want to loot stuff, you actually already can see some bags getting destroyed. But, also I think since the days are longer, the bags also last longer. Because by now, it would have despawned in an hour a day. Okay, so at least a few of them dropped bags over here, which means the spikes did... Oh wow, okay, so no, this defense will not work with spikes. I'm gonna have to build blocks on top or something. These spikes are a curse. I'm going to have to use TNT to blow them up to get them out of the area. And I'm just going to make a normal solid ground, guys. Because these damage the cops just enough to make them explode. And that's it. Um, if they damage the cops enough to kill them, this defense would have worked. But the spikes, uh, it seems it's not going to work like this. Unless you use the spikes with like turrets and stuff and make sure the turrets are full, this defense is doomed to fail. Okay, let's just quickly dump everything. Guys, we're definitely, definitely getting way more loot than usual, which is awesome. I mean, with all this effort, we have to get something out of the ward. I might just have to take an in-game day to, or two just to mine a bit. We need a ton of iron if we're going to make all of this steel. And then also, obviously, I'm going to have to break those spikes out, which is going to take the longest because all of them are steel. Damn it, I can't believe the spikes actually works against me in this defense. Okay, and then over here, I'm actually considering expanding the concrete floor over here. Um, just for the fact that the zombies do come in eye shots of you, and then they explode over here. So instead of making them explode on sand, we're going to make them explode on our concrete. At least then, the concrete's going to last at least a little bit longer. Most of, The biggest part that takes damage is obviously the fence over there. But you don't want the outside of here getting uh, destroyed, and then they start digging. Now, I just wonder, did they start digging in that massive hole, and this one over here... Um, when the, the stairs caved in, or was already busy over here and I just didn't notice them because I was focusing in the front? That is really important questions that I'd like to know the questions to. I mean, we only have one surviving blade trap, guys. They literally destroyed 17 blade traps just now. And they started breaking into my defenses over here. So I'm going to have to make this a solid block of just reinforced steel. And then that should keep them out way, way longer. Because then less zombies are going to explode next to the thing. They're more, less, uh, they're more likely to run around towards me than take damage behind me and explode before I even see them. Guys, I'm actually really, really impressed in the amount of loot we got this episode. I can't believe we got this much. It's almost four chests. Well, it's three chests full, and it's actually a lot of sellables as well. And then a little bit in the fourth chest. Just want to make sure we actually looted all these bags over here. I don't want to take damage on my own spikes, so I need to watch out. See, the problem now is if I break these spikes, there's an iron layer underneath. So I'm gonna, I might have to use my HE rockets to destroy the... What's this block? I might have to use my HE rockets to destroy this instead of my TNT, because the TNT is only going to do so much damage. And also, I don't want to do too much damage to the walls over here. So, because I, otherwise, there's going to be way too much repairing to do. But all in all, this defense actually held up awesomely. Uh, it's just my own defenses that works, uh, worked against me in the end. But other than that, it held up quite well, I would say. What do you guys think? Just leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about this horde? Um, all of this damage was from explosions. So that's the reason why we lost so many traps and stuff over here. I might just have to... I think off camera I'll repair all the damage. 
But on camera, we're going to have a little bit of fun now. First, let's just drop everything over here. Uh, I need to go grab my mini bike just for future use. I'm not going to use it now. Just want to grab everything I need on me. And also some repair kits so we can start repairing what we can sell and also see what we can. There is an open fifth chest now that we can actually put everything into that we can sell. Okay, so this actually held up quite well. With the amount of vomit we took, guys, I'm actually really, really impressed that nothing seems to have broken over here. They took the steel off of this over here, but no blocks up here were destroyed. So that's a really, really good sign. Okay, so while we're down here... Let's just quickly put everything we can in over here. We don't have any gunpowder cooking up, okay? Um, also, guys, we just need eggs, and then I'll be able to make myself some... Um, uh, well, myself the farmer's pass. Uh, that's the only thing I need at the moment, because we do have enough notes now. Okay, so this will go towards steel. As you guys can see, I am starting to make cement more because of the next build. One, Well, firstly, we need to repair this one, but also because of the next build, I'm starting to make some of here. So that's 299 more steel. Hopefully this steel will at least be able to cover the repairs. So if I go mining, all I need to do is really um, mine for, for future steel. Also, as you guys can see, I put the roof in here, put some lights in here, so it's nice. Even without any light on, like the helmet light, it's nice and bright. It's actually almost too bright. And then up here where the zombies were, I just hope the torches are still there. And I put the two spotlights upstairs so you can see the zombies during the horde. But I think this horde was actually the most visually pleasing of all the hordes. It was definitely a fun horde to face. Just need to watch out for any screamer zombies or all of that. See, on this side as well, they did too much explosive damage. So I'm going to make this whole area flat, about 10 out in each direction. At the back of here, it doesn't seem necessary. Although future use might just work against me there. I might go 5 out to that side. 5 out to that side, 10 out to that side, just one layer high. So that if they explode on this side, at least I don't destroy the sand and fall, start to fall inside the world. Or inside my defenses. Okay, so let's quickly check over here. I'm just quickly going to... Oh, there's repair kits over here as well. Didn't see those. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to repair and have you guys back in a sec. Okay, so finally back. Guys, we have a ton of loot we can sell. A whole chest full of loot. This is awesome. We have a few hazmat pieces, but we already have our own. And then we have a rocket launcher. I'm not sure if this is mine or not. I'll just have to check that out. But while it's here, I'm going to use it quickly. Uh, let's just put that back in there. And then over here, we need to drop a few things as well. So let's just put everything like so. Okay, this we need to keep. This we need to keep. And the AK. Oh, for a moment, I thought uh, that's my AK. So we're just going to quickly do this. So everything from the bottom up. You know what? It's going to dump everything anyways. Uh, except some of the ammo. Okay, so let's grab our ammo back. Just want to make sure there's nothing in here of mine. I really need to see some of these items, if they're better than the items I have currently or not. Uh, there's even a storage pocket mod over here. And, yeah, a ton of guns. Okay, so repair kits can keep on us. Guys, we have two chests full of loot. And so much steel armor. I don't think we have a full uh, purple set, do we? Oh, we do. But we have military boots. I want to see if we have the purple shoes. Because with purple shoes, I can uh, swap out the military boots. They're more powerful. Um, more noisy, but at least more powerful. Nope, no such luck. Okay, so we're quickly going to use this rocket. And there should be some ammo over here. Where was it just now? Come on, come on. I actually forgot to start the timer, so I have no idea how far I'm over time or under time or whatever time it is. So, I'll just do this. I'm going to aim right there in the corners. Even if I make a hole, that's fine. The whole point is to get rid of that steel over there. I can replace the floor at any time. It's actually destroying the floor underneath. So all we just need to do then is take out the floor and then voila. Because digging through this, guys, it's going to take forever. At least a whole in-game day just for the spikes. Ah, okay, that was all we could do with this rocket. I'm going to keep this rocket on me just in case it's not uh, the one we got and it's ours. We don't want to accidentally sell our only rocket. That's going to suck. But yeah, guys, just look at this. We are, we are getting some coil rounds. I really need to see now if I can have enough to make coil rounds. There's actually very little that we don't need to sell or uh, can't sell. Everything else over here we can sell, which is awesome, which means we're going to be rich. But I'm going to make myself or see if I can make Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Let's just quickly check that. Oh, it's locked. What do I need? Master Farmer. Okay, I'm quickly going to get some eggs. Do this class so we can get this, guys. I just hope it's not under the mastery of the class. Let's just check over here. 
It says over here, learn Grandpa Secret. Oh, damn it. Okay, we need that uh, Grandpa Secret recipe, the awesome sauce. As soon as we have that, we can sell the stuff for way more. So I might just need to see if I can buy them at the trader. I think off camera I'll head past the traders. So past that one to our first very one. And then next episode, after mining and everything, uh, when we start, we'll start from there and back. Hopefully there's a, just one or two awesome sources. We just need one for ya because it's nice and close to each other. And then one for ya because it's too far away. It's just three minutes that it lasts. But I'm going to do a ton of repairs now, guys. I'm going to see if I can take all these spikes out. It's just a shame we don't have a titanium auger yet. Um, which, that's also locked, right? I think it's under Master Boulder. Titanium is still locked completely, and Titanium Auger, yep, Master Builder. We need those Mastery Books. We do have how many skill points? 11. You know what? Uh, oh, what was that? That's a Wandering Horde. Hello. Oh, they're ignoring me. I don't really mind. This is a massive Wandering Horde, though. You know what? Let's quickly take them. It's more XP, so why not? And we, I'm going to use those skill points of me now, of mine, to actually get myself the one mastery class. I'm going to go for a mastery class. Now, it's between the master builder, uh, but unfortunately we don't have titanium, so there's no point in getting that one. And master mechanic. We do need the master mechanic. Because remember, we said we need a motorcycle or a 4x4. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. Some of them, I think, ran past, but that's fine. Okay, let's just hope some of these also have some good loot that we can sell as well. I'm really hoping to find a Wandering Trader, guys. That guy will most definitely have a... Or rather, almost certainly, have the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Last time I, I had that or saw that guy, he always had some on him. Anyways, uh, we really need to look for eggs. So every time I see a bird's nest, I need to loot it. So I can get that Master Food class. I might just master the food class, because we have the mastery class. No, but we have the mastery for farming, so I don't need to buy that one. Okay, so let's just quickly see, do I need any other skill points? I'm just going to show you guys this on camera quickly. We do need points for technology crafting. Uh, future technology unlocks recipes for the fusion. 20 for future technology. I'm not sure what this means. Unlocks recipe for the laser multi-tool, so I can make that now. Energy cells and enriched uranium. Over here I can make the bladed sword. Laser battery, we need that for uh, ammo, I think, and power armor. So we do need these recipes, but, and watch, I'm going to buy it now, and then all of a sudden, we're going to find it. So I either need to get this one, this gives me titanium tool recipes, so that gives me the auger, basically the titanium auger, but I just need titanium then, and I haven't found any yet. I do know that if you mine in the wasteland, it's there. Uh, but I haven't seen any other nodes. In Alpha 16, when I played this mod, it was in the desert biome. But now, it's nowhere to be found, which really bothers me. So, I'm really between two, uh, two minds, guys. I'm torn. Because if I go for Mechanic over here, if I master this, it unlocks the Steel Wrench, motor which you don't need, the Motorbike 4x4 Muscle Car Recipes, increases Crafting Tier for Blunt uh, Weapons and Ranges by 10. So, we're going to get uh, a level 61 of that as well. The mini bike is fast enough, don't get me wrong, but it's not really, really fast. So do I go for speed or do I go for... I think I might just do the laborer class, guys. This is one of our first quests. Although, this only gives you the titanium tools. And that's only for ease because I want to be able to dig through that faster, but we don't have titanium anyways. So, let's just quickly see. If I go for survivalist over here... That gives me 10 uh, crafting tiers of 10 for cloth, leather, scrap, iron, steel, armor. So I can get level 61 steel armor. That might just be worth it. And the M4A1, titanium machete recipes, survival torch, radio jerky, mega crush, large backpack. I'm going to go for this one. Because security does give the M60, as far as I'm aware. Which way is it? No, over here. Uh, yeah, it unlocks the M60 and titanium armor. But once again... We don't have titanium. So let's go for the survivalist. Then we know we're never encumbered. We can make the M4A1. We can get level 61 steel armor. We just also need to invest a little bit then in um, in armor crafting. <laughs> I need four more points for that now. 
So that was 10 points wasted, but since our luck with finding the Marshy Books is really low, I did that. Okay, so off camera, I'm just going to repair all of this. It's going to take forever. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that with uh, the rockets. I'm going to use all, up all my rockets, and then I'll use the auger. Just to get them to iron, because iron will be easier to destroy than steel. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, what I miss? Do you guys think there's stuff I can tweak to help out of here? Because the biggest problem is just now was the stairs caved in and the spikes are doing damage without killing them. So if I take the spikes out, that will solve our problem, I think. Uh, but yeah, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we do more exploring and zombie killing fun. Hey guys, just a quick thing. I was actually busy repairing over here and I thought about something. Instead of taking out all the spikes, because I mean, it's one, it's going to take long. And two, it, uh, we wasted so much steel already, uh, already on this. I'm going to put back the blade traps, the lights and everything, although I need to make another uh, plan with the lights. And then instead of destroying the spikes, what I'm going to do is put two turrets back here. Uh, auto turrets. Or perhaps auto turret and a shotgun turret. We'll see how it works. We'll make a little bit of a hidey hole of here so the zombies have to walk over it and then through. But that way, we can ensure that the zombies at least, uh, if they get onto these, the turrets will kill them. Um, I want to put it far away so it doesn't shoot the zombies on this side of here because we'll take care of them. But anything on the spikes over here needs to get shot. So I'm going to put a blade trap in line with this block over there. And a... or the uh, auto turret rather. Auto turret in line with this one. And this one perhaps one shotgun turret in the middle. And then... or perhaps just shotgun turrets. That's going to keep the range nice and short. So then I can actually put a hole on this side to protect this side. We'll put like three uh, shotgun turrets. On this side the same. On that side the same. Or two shotgun turrets and one auto turret in the middle so it doesn't shoot past. But I'll need to repair or rather replace all the blade traps over here. Um, I think I have to make 17 unless that last one was also now destroyed. So check this. Yeah. I need to make all 18 again. Uh, I need to figure out the lighting system over here. But we're going to use some turrets to protect these steel spikes. Because it's just going to take forever and waste a ton of resources uh, if we remove these now. Yeah, see you guys next time.